Good afternoon. I guess I should say good evening. We're coming to you after the school board meeting where we've had some conversation about how the school system is going to move forward for the, the near future. And we'll come back to that in just a few minutes. Right now, I would like to ask you to help us, please. Uh, we have a long-standing tradition for cross-country excellence in Swain County Schools. And this year, we have a group of boys and a group of girls that once again are going to be competing at the state level for a championship. Now, the girls were the conference champions and finished second in the region this year under the, the leadership of Jennifer Chatham. And our boys finished third in regionals under the leadership of Keith Payne. Now, now saying that, that Jennifer and Keith are kind of just working with that, that particular group is not fair because really they all kind of do it together. So congratulations to the boys and the girls and to those coaches for the amazing season that has been longer than I think we've ever known before. At the same time, we need to give a big shout out to our girls middle school team who are also the conference champions. And I need to say congratulations to Emily McClung and also to her sister, Megan Lucas, because those two ladies help head up the uh, the middle school boys and girls cross country and without strong programs from the middle school our high school cross country program wouldn't be nearly as successful as it is now how can you help us in the morning at 8 a.m the high school girls and high school boys team is going to be leaving from the high school traveling to the state championship meet if you could join me please somewhere in town so that we can give them a send-off that they deserve you know normally at the high school, they'll do a tunnel of sorts through the, through the, uh, the facility and, and let those that are going to a state championship competition walk through and cheer them on and, and just have a lot of fun with that. We can't do that right now, but what we can do as a community is to reach out and say, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we are so proud of you. So would you please join me downtown as we send them off? That's 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. Now, another thing that we probably need to let you know is uh, my recommendation and with the approval of the school board, uh, we will be virtual for at least another week. And the reason for that is our numbers have improved as far as having staff available in the classroom, but they're not as strong as I would like for them to see. And another piece that concerns me is the fact that we are struggling to keep bus drivers on buses because so many of our staff drive buses and we're working working on improving having substitutes available, but sometimes those are hard to find. That along with the fact that our numbers in Swain County are not showing a decline like I had hoped that they would. If we put all of those pieces together, in my opinion, the best thing for us to do is to wait another week and to see what happens. Now, a good thing that is happening is that some of our staff are being immunized against COVID-19. I want to give a shout out to our health department and to Allison Cochran for how they are helping us do that. Uh, we have some, some staff members who have some serious concerns and, and maybe some underlying health conditions and, and Allison is helping us protect them and as we continue to have those immunizations come through for our staff, uh, that will be another buffer for our, for our folks, our faculty, so that they will be able to be in the classroom and will be protected from everything that's going on all around us. I also wanna give a shout out to all of our staff because um, these are difficult times and, and I really, really do appreciate all of our instructional staff, all of our support staff, all of those who are working in cafeterias and driving buses and, and keeping our buildings clean and keeping them running. I wanna thank all of you. You do such a magnificent job under a lot of stress right now and I, I just want you to know that I appreciate you and I want you to know that the community appreciates you as well. Um, so please feel encouraged and feel appreciated at this time. I also want to thank the parents who continue to help us with instruction at the home. I've watched that happen this week some in different places and uh, it's not an easy task and I recognize that but because of your partnership with our staff in the buildings we're able to help our students continue to move forward in a pretty strong way, certainly stronger than it was back in the spring of 2020. So let me just reiterate 
hope that on January the 25th, we'll be virtual again, uh, probably for another week or so. Uh, we will continue to assess the situation to make sure that we're keeping everyone safe. And I want to say thank you for your partnership as we do that. Also, congratulations to our cross country teams all the way around. What a great season you have had. We are so proud of you and so pleased. Um, until the next time we're th that we're together, please know, well, I appreciate you, God bless you, and I want you to have a great evening and a great weekend.